Well, Volvo is back with their Prevo bus. This is an incredible design bus that shows all the interior options, all the wood trim colors and what have you. It's, uh, this is such a cool bus. After having looked at RVs this year and understanding all the, like the slide outs and all of that, this is one heck of a bus. I say we go inside and check it out. Sometimes you have to wait online to get in it. I don't know that we'll need to today, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's check out the bus and let's check out what Volvo has brought to the show. I'm gonna be introducing Tyler Solomon, who some of you may remember from seeing a video last year here at Electrify Expo in New York City. But this year, I'm, I'm on this Class A bus. I don't even think you could call it Class A. This is like Class A plus. And it's an amazing experience. See, so Volvo is celebrating selling vehicles in the United States 70 years, and they've decked out the bus. It's a little different than the design center they had last year. So let's get into this video and have Tyler tell us all about not only what's going on inside the bus and some of the history of Volvo, but what they've also got out front. And you know Volvo, they always deck out their cars so nicely with the accessories. So let's meet Tyler. All right, so for those of you who watched our video last year, uh, you may remember Tyler Salomon, who is a uh, director of communication and events. Tyler, I want to go back in this bus. This thing is amazing. We've got a brand new experience this year too. Oh, really? So it's, let's go inside and Absolutely. see what we got cooking. Volvo actually has a big anniversary this year. It's 70 years in the US. So 70 years Volvo has been present and has been a part of it. So uh, we're excited to kind of highlight the safety retailers and then the consumers that we've got coming out. So, Come on in, let's take a look to see what's All right, going on. Absolutely. You know, this is the most amazing bus and you guys changed it around this year. Tell me about what's going on. We do. So every year we kind of have a different, you know, story that we want to tell. And in 2025, it's actually 70 years of Volvo here in the US. So from when we first came into the port of Long Beach with our P444 to 2025, where we've got vehicles actually assembled in the states in South Carolina. So we want to kind of highlight the history in all sorts of different ways. So we're inside of our mobile studio, which some of you may have seen at various Electrify Expos or even some of the auto shows in the past. Um, but this area that we're in right now, we're talking about Volvo safety history. So what we've done over the past seven years is we've kind of highlighted some key safety innovations over the past seven decades. So of course, we have to start back in 1959. And if you look at some of our current products, you see it right on there. Since 1959, that's of course the three-point safety belt. So this is a copy of that original patent that we have from 1959. And you know, we, we continue to highlight that because it has saved over a million lives, not just with us, but in people around the world, uh, giving it an open patent so that way right. all manufacturers can, can use that. We're actually innovating the seatbelt even further in our upcoming vehicle. So excited to tell you about that a little bit more down the road. Okay. But as you can kind of see, you know, as you kind of go forward, we talk about the introduction of the head restraint as standard, the Lambda sensor, key things when it came to like environmental um, breakthroughs the side impact protection, rollover over protection. So when people are in this area of the mobile studio, they're kind of, and this is of course a guided experience. So we have somebody that is kind of guiding them through all these safety innovations. And then, you know, we see these in kind of museums, these like gallery walls. So you can see the kind of evolution of, you know, Volvo logos, designs, but even as simple as look at how the keys have evolved over the years as well. Your standard key, and then kind of going to today where you've got the key card options as well with Volvo. So we want to kind of take a time to have people in this front area, take a look at our past. Of course, we have one of our original safety belts as we see here, the inventor, Nils Born. Um, and again, even as an example in our current one since 1959, highlighting that key piece of safety innovation. So we see everything that we have in here safety wise, but 70 years in the US is no uh, short time. And there's a lot of factors that are beyond just what you do from a corporate standpoint, it comes to our retailer partners. So we wanna highlight the Volvo story. Like, and these are some of our oldest retailers that we have throughout the US. Again, many of them are, are family owned still and um, and are connected with. So we wanted to take it the moment and actually playing behind, we actually have a, a documentary video that we've we've been highlighting on uh, various social media platforms that you can see. But these are just some of the um, 
retailers that have been around since that very beginning. So when tell those her, first cars who, who was the first retailer back in the day? Or, do, or were these all back in 57 when they when they were launched? Yeah, these these were some of the original franchisees. Right. So like from the from when they first came over, they were in some of the import dealers. But then when we talk about the first established franchisees, these are many of those retailers. Wow. That That's a nice again. tribute to without your dealers. You know, I mean, basically, where would you be today? Well, and, and that's why we wanted to, and again, we look at the, the family here from uh, San Francisco as well. That's four generators. He's over 100 years old, the gentleman who- Oh, wow. Out. And he still, he still keeps, you know, uh, he keeps he's, himself informed. He's, a, he's of aware what's of what's going on. He's, a, right. he, he's sharp. Wow, he's, that's He's still awesome. very sharp as that's well. That's really so cool. It's great that we've been able to kind of highlight that. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, as part of our history, you know, we look at the customers. The customers that we that have been impacted in Volvos in all, all sorts of ways. And I want to kind of highlight over here um, uh, my Volvo story. So these are stories that people send to Volvo directly. And you can see it is a little bit jarring at times. But it's to kind of highlight, you know, how Volvo has truly impacted uh, people from all around the world. Again, as you know, something simple of just like always ready for an adventure. Yeah. But then when you see things, oh he walked goodness. away. Oh, look at that. So how is that possible? So in our 70 years, we want to take a moment to recognize. And again, our, our million more campaign when it came to the introduction of the three point safety belt, we want to highlight how we do engage and take what our customers tell us seriously. And, you know, while it's scary to see this, the fact that they share these stories with us and have that Volvo story, that's what we want to have people right. highlight. So, oh, this is great. This is, uh, you know what? Someone who doesn't really necessarily know, I think when I think about Volvo, I remember back in 1985, now I'm dating myself back in college, there was a, some guy had a, like a 740 turbo wagon mm -hmm. or maybe a 760 turbo wagon. Yeah. And it was black with black interior. And I was like, someday I'm going to get one of those. And they, they were just tanks. And interestingly enough, that guy got into a really bad accident up mm -hmm. in Ithaca, New York, and he walked away. But, and, that's, but you said it. Everyone has a Volvo story yeah. in some way, shape, or form. That guy that, that you knew in college right. to, you know, people who we talked to, there's like, oh, you know, my uncle had you know, uh, an 850 wagon. I grew up in the in the back of, uh, you know, first generation XC60. Yeah. So it's great seeing the generations oh, yeah. of people and being able to talk about it. So as part of our 70 years in the US, we want to kind of just have that moment here that we can kind of pay tribute to our history, reflect and celebrate the retailers, and then of course the customers to remind us why we do this. Absolutely. Day day. So you know what I'd love to do? Let's go out front and look at the lineup you have. Absolutely. Of today. What's going on today? And, we, and, and uh, we've got a lot to talk about. Uh, absolutely. Let's head out. Today. All right, Tyler. I love the setup right in front of the bus. Absolutely. You've got the lineup here for 2026. Yeah. Take me through it, my friend. Let's go. All right. So of course we're highlighting here our next EX30 that's coming just later on this year. So the EX30 cross country. So we had that last year in New York and we've been able to get people out on test drives. People can test drive it as well this weekend too. But the cross country goes back to that cross country name that we've had in our lineup for quite some time. That little off road, a little bit beefier. And that's what we've done here with our fully electric, uh, smallest ever SUV. So we've taken a couple of things. We've gotten some bigger off-road tires. We've added some uh, stronger cladding along the wheel wells. But what I, I always love is that Volvo has a tendency to work with some of the Easter eggs, I'll call them. And so if you take a look at this grill here, it's actually a topographical map. And those coordinates that you see here, it's a mountain range within Sweden. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. In, if you plug in those coordinates, it's actually one of, one of the mountain ranges in the national parks in Sweden. That is, that's really, that's, I like how they pay tribute to those things. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, what, what we like to do when it comes to highlighting our vehicles out here, we want to kind of show lifestyle. So obviously when you're going with EX30 cross country, you're thinking about, you know, maybe you're doing some soft roading, maybe you're doing some camping. Um, this car is, it's, this is the prototype that we have on display, but we actually going to have the 
uh, full service model later on this year as well as a model year 26. So we're excited to see this coming on roads as well. What are the specs on the EX30 these days? Are you going to be changing the specs at all for, uh, for so, with the cross country? So, so it is going to come in the, in the twin motor variant. That's the primary. But in 26, we are introducing that single motor variant as well. So for 26, we've added that single motor powertrain that we've talked about too. Front or rear drive? Uh, that's going to be a rear wheel. Okay, got it. Yeah. Excellent. Price point on that one? Um, more details to come on that. Uh, you're gonna... always good at that, Tyler. You're always good at that. We've got plenty uh, more information coming up on the media side with that. But I'm excited just to see this here because this really is a nice tribute to what we did in cross country, but I, I just think it looks fantastic. All right, the, the most important question is, do you have cold beer in those Yetis on top? That's what no, I want to know. No, 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 no. No? All right, well, I was just going to say, it is, it's not noon yet, so I'll, I'll come back maybe in the afternoon. That's fair. All right, let's go over to the EX40 over so, here. So EX40, again, is a, is a tried and true. Many people have, have seen this. The name connects it to our fully electric lineup when, when you look at it. And I think it's a great representation of what we have in the EX lineup as well. You have EX30, that subcompact SUV, but then we get a lot of people that says like, you know what, I just want a little bit more space. And that's what you've got with EX40 as well. So you have all of the convenience features that you've always had with the 40 series line, that uh, removable uh, trash can, the deep door pockets, storage, Google, um, maps that's uh, good i like this color too I, I i like the colors you guys have really really nice sage green when it when it first came out it was in sage green and that it's a tried and true classic which i really like yeah um yeah. but yeah it's it's a great kind of car for people who you know still want that electric suv but want just a little bit more space that the ex30 doesn't necessarily have to it right now if you're uh a budding family maybe you need the a little bit bigger bigger vehicle what you about might, this ex90 you might need a little bit more and of course our award-winning ex90 here proudly assembled in south carolina i think that's one of the things that people may not remember about volvo is that we do have our factory in ridgeville south carolina so ex90 here it is that tried and true three row suv you can get this in a six seat or a seven seat configuration and again you're going off road. You've got the camper on top. So this, this is with Thule that we work with as one of our Volvo certified accessories. How in the heck do you get up in that thing? Uh, there actually is a ladder that you would that you'd uh, drop down and walk right up into. Oh, okay. It. You maybe you would. I don't know about me. I, 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 it's it's quite roomy up there. Is it? It is. Do you think I'd fit six foot five? Absolutely. Really? Okay. So again, you see you see it up as we have it right now. You've got your third row, but you still even have even more smart storage in here, which I think is great. These are for the actual roof accessories. So you actually have a spot to put those roof rails when you're not using them in between. You can oh, that's smart. You can unhook them, put them right in here, and then take this out further if you need even more space as right. well. Of course, you've got your tow hitch. You can uh, fold these down as well. Air suspension. And then my favorite, of course, is the will it fit guide. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, I remember that. That's, that's great. A little bit of uh, reality check right there. So will these things fit? Baby carriage, golf clubs, lamps. And again, you can leave that measuring tape at home because we've got everything that you need yeah. right here on those the dimensions. That's well thought out. Really nice. Oh yeah, this does extend really yep. far here, Tyler. Wow. Yeah, this extends out very well. We try and ex I always want to kind of show different lifestyles with it. Again, even on the EX40, you see the the surfboard on there as well because we want to be able to highlight all the different types of lifestyles that people can have inside Volvo cars. Right. Now, for someone who maybe isn't ready to go full EV, for whatever yes. reason, the case is kind of an interesting one with plug-in hybrids. Talk to me. What do it we is. got going on over here? So we have had kind of our tried and true when it comes to volume sellers with XC60 and XC90. They've both gone through XC90 a little bit more of a deeper refresh, but XC60 just got a little bit of a refresh in 2026 as well. And what we're excited about with XC60 is that this car will be coming to our factory in South Carolina as well. So we will start producing this vehicle in South Carolina. There are some other updates to it, of course, down, down the road, but we're excited that this model line is going to be coming to South Carolina as well. So what vehicles are built in South Carolina right now? So EX90 is our primary that's down there, and we, are, and we actually just had a ribbon cutting ceremony not too long ago to really kick off the planning and uh, 
and start planning for XC60. Right, right. And so for 26, we did have a couple of updates, particularly that new touchscreen in the center screen. So that is a larger screen than we've had in the past for XC60. And we've done that same update over on XC90 as well. Okay, great. Really nice. And again, with the accessories. Again, so you, if I buy one today, you're going to give me the bike? Uh, we'll talk about it. All right. That sounds fair. All right. Now we've got the XC90 over here. Physically, dimensionally, is this the same as the EX90? Or? Very close. Very close. Very close. Again, there are some benefits that you clearly see with a battery electric vehicle. Of course, the flat floor being one of those things. Right. Um, but what we've done and what we still have is, of course, the options for brand new captain's chair. So this is a new six seater design that we have. Oh, that's for XC90 nice. as well. That's really and nice. In fact, we even have hidden cup holders inside of that center armrest. I see that, yeah. A buddy of mine I work with, he was like, Dave, what car should I buy? I was like, yeah, I want, I was, you gotta go EV, you gotta get the EX90. He's got two kids, he's got all the plastic toys. He ended up getting um, and just a regular XC90 plug-in oh, plug hybrid. Yeah, yeah. And he loves it. He's loving it. It's fast too. XC90 is tried and true. This is a true family car. Again, we've done a fair amount of updates kind of going into it as well for, you know, 25 and a half, 26. Um, that updated center screen, the updated six row that we have there, some changes within the grill and the headlights. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, you don't, you don't change too much of what works. So in right. terms of proportions of what you see inside the vehicle, it's still as consistent with what people have known XC90 to be. Yeah. And again, that plug-in hybrid, it is, you know, it's an electric vehicle with a gas engine when, when you need it or when you want it. Oh, it, the thing it's, flies. It's that ultimate flexibility. Yeah, it's really, it's really quick. So, well, that's, that's great. Looking good. I like this lineup. I like the display. And of course you've got the, uh, is this a coffee bar or a lemonade stand? You got, oh, you got the lemonade stand. So, it, so we've got, so Volvo has been a longstanding partner with Alex's lemonade stand actually uh, for over 20 years now. What's Alex's lemonade stand? So Alex's lemonade stand, it's a children's charity that, you know, we've partnered with uh, years and years ago. And uh, they are one of the primary uh, cancer research foundations when it comes oh, to childhood Oh, very cancer. nice. So Volvo has been a partner of Alex's Lemonade Stand for quite some time. Um, what we do in partnership with them is we'll bring the Lemonade Stand to our Electrify Expos. And the donations that we get here, both through Venmo and then cash donations, they go right to the charity as well. Again, that's to great. continue Volvo's commitment. And in fact, a portion of every Volvo vehicle that's sold there is a portion that actually goes to Alex's Lemonade Stand. I did stand. not know that. Yep, that's so every great. Volvo that's sold has a donation that goes to it as part that's of really the, uh, the transaction process. Excellent. So, of course, as well in Sweden, coffee culture is huge. So, with our whole mobile studio setup, we have our Fika Cafe. So, it is a full-service um, espresso-based cafe that people are able to make yeah. custom uh, drinks out of. So, it's... It's one of those kind of fun incentives that uh, people will be able to kind of check out. They can get their coffee. Of course, everybody needs a little energy and, and pick up before they start the day. Yeah. And uh, even if you're a Volvo owner, if you show your key, you can go right in and get yourself a cup of coffee. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, Tyler, amazing. As always, you're great. I love it. They got the right guy here with communications out talking to the people at the events. Great lineup of vehicles. Amazing bus. What an amazing tribute as well to the history of uh, safety that Volvo. I absolutely do as uh, associate Volvo with safety. I mean, 100%. As, as many do. Yeah. And we're so, excited to continue to highlight that. That's great. For the next 70 plus years. Well, we'll see what you guys have up your sleeves. You're not absolutely. sharing with me. I'm that's trying to get them to tell me what's going on, but he, they do have some interesting things, at least so he says. So we'll see as time goes on. But listen, thanks, Tyler. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.